Welcome back from that short commercial break. You're still watching a PM edition. The Electoral Commission has distanced itself from allegations that it is defending some former candidates with election petition cases. This comes after Commission's head of litigation, Eric Sabiti, noted that there are situations where defending other parties is still needed. Recently, the High Court threw out election petitions filed by two aspiring members of Parliament on grounds of effective service. Sulaiman Chidandala lost his petition against his rival for the Kawempe North seat, Mohamed Segirinya. While Fred Nyanzi is still looking to appeal his loss to Kampala Central MP, Mohamed Inseriko. In both cases, lawyers of the sued MPs did not appear in court. But the Electoral Commission, which was the second respondent, was always represented. In both cases, the Electoral Commission asked court to throw out these petitions for non-services. And this alarmed the petitioners. Effective service can be interpreted as issuing documents to the party that has been sued, informing them of the case in question so that they prepare their defense. The complainants, Chidandala and Nyanzi, now accuse the electoral body of siding with their rivals. It is unfortunate that the court has, has joined the hand with the electoral commission and the fraud people to always frustrate justice. The head of litigation from the Electoral Commission, Eric Sabiti, responds to the allegations. What is true is that uh, in all those matters, we represent the Electoral Commission. When we return candidates, even when there are no allegations against the Electoral Commission, we become statutory respondents. That we, are, we become st uh, respondents by way of an act of parliament because of our participation in the way we conduct elections and uh, our role in the, in the declaration process. Sabit reasons that it is understandable for the petitioners to be bothered when first respondents are not in court, which leads them to make conclusions. But he explains that the electoral body would never participate in cases where it is not a party. In those two cases we are representing, the other respondent. The other respondent, to begin with, they were not in court because they are not even aware legally that they had been they had been taken to court because they had not been served. So you will not find, I intend to agree with them, in only as far as where you find a royal electoral commission, in a matter where electoral commission is not a party, then that is different. But where a electoral commission is a party, then uh, where they are prosecuting the petition, one cannot say you are representing. The commission received 92 petitions, out of which 45 have been concluded. It has lost just two, and 32 others are pending judgment. Those who have uh, appealed, we, we are able, we have the manpower, we have the resource, we are able to take it up to the last court, which is court of appeal. And in the next two weeks, we are going to prepare early to, to defend our victory in the lower court. Sabit maintains the general elections of January 14th were conducted in a transparent manner. Flavia Ninkuze, CTV, PM Edition. Now here is a roundup of some of the notable election petitions so far. Uh, those dismissed include uh, Suleiman Chidandala's case against Mohamed Sejirinya for Kawempe North seat. We also have Fred Nyansi, who is yet to appeal his loss in his case against Mohamed Nseroko for the Kampala Central seat. For the, for the, Bamunan, for the Bamunanika constituency, Christopher Mataba, his case against Robert Sechitoleko. We also have Rita Nabada who did not shake for the Kayunga district woman MP, Aida Nantaba. The cases yet to be heard, we have Nakawa West Member of Parliament, Joel Sonyoni, has had a first victory against Mukesh Shukra. His application to amend the case was denied. We also have Salim Uhuru, who is locking horns with Muhamda Samuoma for the Mayor Central Division seat. 
Edgar Lubade is waiting for a verdict on his petition against Paul Nsoboga for the Busiro North seat and for Nansana Municipality, Hamis Musoke Walusimbi and Wakayima Musoke are also waiting for judgment. CTV will be bringing you these uh, cases and more.